What's up guys? We are here at Palm Beach, Florida, and we are here for the first spring training game for me this year. As of recording this, this is February 29th, leap year, leap day, and we are tonight we are going to see the Houston Astros play against the New York Mets. Like I said, this is my first spring training game of the year. I will be going to it at least three to four, I believe. But anyway, I have been here one time. It was last year for the Nationals. Why I bring up the Nationals? Because the Houston Astros and the Washington Nationals, they share spring training conflicts here. Like I see the big W way back there. They share conflicts. Super excited to be here. And I am here to also hopefully see the one, the only, Orbit, the mascot for the Houston Astros. I've never seen him in person. Uh, I hope I get to see him. I hope I get a picture. But like I said, I never been to a Houston Astros spring training game, so I don't know how it works here. Uh, I know I know a lot about this ballpark because I was here last year and there was nobody here, so I basically got to do anything. <laughs> so uh, I bought a berm ticket. I always try to buy just a berm ticket for spring training because you can walk around and by the third inning, all the major league players are out of the game. And I bought, and I bought prepay parking, it was $12. Fun fact, if you do prepay, you save $2. Because if you pay here for the parking, it is $15. So whenever you buy your ticket on the ballpark app, it asks, do you want to buy parking? Do it, because you save $2. Anyway, so we are here three hours before the game. Uh, I live in Central Florida. It was a three hour drive. I want to make sure I was here early. So I got here early. I hear a lot of hitting in the cage. I hear players on the Houston side. So we're gonna go see what we can see. I don't know if this any of the major league guys or just the minor league guys, but we have three hours till game time. I want to get in there as soon as possible. See if I can see Orbit coming out with his bike. But anyway, let's go explore the ballpark of Palm Beach. <laughs> Made it to security and made it to the Astros practice facility side. I see a couple players around, so uh, let's go see who we can see, if we recognize anybody. So we see a player warming up right now, here. The legend Reggie Jackson is here. The Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson. If you've seen the bench warmers, you've seen him. Thought I was pretty awesome. We're gonna head back to the ballpark. I don't know when the ballpark opens. I looked everywhere this week. And I could not find any information when the ballpark opens. So we are two hours till first pitch. So it's gotta be within an hour, an hour and a half till it opens. So that was really cool. We saw Bregman and we saw the one and only Hall of Famer, Reggie Jackson. I did not expect that to happen. So anyway, let's go back to the ballpark and hopefully the gates are open. 
One thing to know about the Astros and the Nationals spring training facility as they're still hitting in the cage is when you come here, you will be going through a lot of security metal detectors. Uh, I went through one when I, after I parked, walked by the ballpark, went to another one to walk in the practice facility and I'm about to have to go back another one. Not complaining at all. It was smooth. I don't have that much stuff, but just a, just a fact to know when you're, if you come to spring training here. All right, we are here at the front gate. Looks like the gates are not opening. It is currently 420. So I'm gonna get a line and hopefully the gates open soon. All right, guys, we just made it in the ballpark. The Mets are having batting practice right now. Just gonna walk around and wait for Orbit uh, right on his bike. Should be right out there in left field. So, just gonna wait for uh, Orbit. So we're gonna check out the team store. Looks like practice just in, batting practice just in for the match. So that it looks like a locker room back here. <laughs> All right, guys, here's the menu in the concession stand. So as you know, I get the unique stuff. I'm gonna try the Astro Dog. I've done a uh, Dodger Dog. Now it's time to try an Astro Dog. All right guys, I got the Astro Dog. It has chili and cheese on it. What's kind of cool is at the concession stand, they do present it a little bit when uh, right after you order it. And here's the picture they present it. Here we go. Not bad, not bad. I expected a lot worse. Seven or six out of ten. Seven or six. Uh, I'm not a huge chili fan. The only time I like chili is uh, on french fries. Uh, I This might be the first time I ever had chili on a hot dog. So there's that. Seven out of, seven out of ten or six out of ten. Not bad. <laughs> There's the owner of the Astros. So it looks like Orbit is not here tonight. Uh, that's okay. We're still enjoying great baseball. Uh, first time in like five months I'm watching baseball. It's a uh, low, low 70s, high 60s, and you could not ask for a better uh, night for baseball. We're gonna still roam around the park, see what we can see. I see a couple at uh, a gift shop over there. So we're just gonna roam around and hang out. So it's, it's a little bummer Orbit's not here, but we're okay. We're in good spirits, so uh, let's enjoy baseball. You know how I said earlier that Nationals and Astros share practice facilities? 
Well, we saw the Astros practice facility, we were in it, but right behind me is the Nationals. And here's the New York Mets bullpen in right field. So cool thing about this ballpark, it looks like you can play games. I saw two guys earlier playing. Right now nobody's playing, but it's just pretty cool. You can play for free. And right next to the Mets bullpen, they have like this patio place. You do need a special ticket for it. It has the lawn. Not a lot of people are sitting here. The crowd is a lot lower than I expected. With the night game, I thought it would be a lot more busier. But not a bad crowd, but I just expected more. What I do love about spring training ballparks, I have noticed a lot in Florida at least, the concourse are huge because they're expecting big long lines for concession. But as you can see, it is not bad tonight. So there's a tent over here called Basilism. Let's check out this uh, shop. Hello. How's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Okay, this might be my favorite one, Field of Dreams. King Griffey Jr. I saw this one earlier, Empire. That's pretty cool. Another King Griffey Jr. one. That's pretty cool. Well, if you like King Griffey Jr., you would like this shop. Now this is cool, Vince, Vince Scully. No matter if you're a Dodgers fan or not, you have to like Vince Scully, in my opinion. For the love of game. Now here's their hat, it's another King Griffey, Vince Scully. How about that, it's the Savannah Bananas. We all know who they are. Out of the brave. Now don't quote me, but I believe there is a shop of this company in Chicago. I'm not 100% sure. Really, 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 really cool shop. Another King Griffey. Griffey must have a contract with them or something. Really cool shop. Oh, the, wow. The Cleveland Indians from uh, the movie Major League. As a, oh, another one. As a uh, Indian slash Guardians fan. That's pretty cool. So that's a really, really cool shop. That's awesome. Now, when I was here last year to watch the Nationals, I met the Nationals mascot and the two of the presidents about right here. So here's the picture I got from last year. Probably the closest thing we're going to see from orbit today.
what they have here at Palm Beach Ballpark is a grab and go. A lot of major leagues ballparks and minor leagues have started doing this, so it's really nice. Just grab and go, and you pay right there. I talked about this earlier, the cornhole game, and now people are starting to play it. So what I do at Major League and Minor League ballparks, I try to find the worst seat in the house. Well, this ballpark is really hard to find it. Minor League ballparks are kind of hard. I think I found it's not really a seat. It's standing boat only. It's right behind the left field foul pole, right next to the Astros bullpen and right below is the locker room so if like I said it's not really a seat so a lot of people was will say and I understand well that's how do you say that's the worst seat in the house if there's not a seat well in my opinion standing boat is kind of the same like at the Guardians at Progressive Field I was in standing boat only and I missed a home run because I couldn't see here you could tackle the only way you miss a home run I guess right over there and left centered as uh, the Astros are starting to warm up. All right, guys, that will do it here at Palm Beach Ballpark in Palm Beach, Florida. Uh, I had a great time. The uh, First of all, the uh, hot dog gave it a seven out of 10. The only thing I didn't like about the hot dog was the employees didn't tell me what exactly was on that dog. And I had to ask for it. I was kind of, uh, that was kind of strange. And on the menu, it doesn't say what it is. I had to, like I said, I had to ask, what's on the hot dog? And they told me, obviously. And I don't have any allergies, like food allergies. But I was just, it was just very strange. They didn't tell me right away what it was on it. But anyway, uh, it, was, it was a bummer. Orbit's not here. He must already be back in uh, Houston getting ready for the season. Uh, this, the ballpark, I would give it... Six out of 10, it's a very nice ballpark. Just not a lot of offerings to do besides watch the game. Like in Nashville, they have a mini putt-putt, mini golf, and stuff like that. I think it's because I don't know what they use this actual ballpark during the actual baseball season, because I know a minor league team doesn't use it. But I'm also leaving early tonight, because I have to drive to Lakeland, Florida, because I'm gonna go see, the, at the timing of this recording, see the Detroit Tigers uh, team play. Hopefully Paul's will be there, but we'll we'll see. And what I am you go what am I wearing? It's the Tennessee Vols hat as I'm originally from Tennessee. And the Cleveland mascot, the Cleveland bunch. As you can see all the hot dogs. I went to Slider's birthday party and you can and you can watch that video the link below. I am excited I'm going to Slider's party again this year in like I said, I'm going to Lakeland tomorrow. I, that video at the time of this recording will be posted on March 8th. I am editing this video tonight and posting it tomorrow before I head to the ballpark. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for exploring. I think the best part about today was actually not the actual ballpark. It was actually going to all the facilities of the Astros have. We saw a bunch of people and a bunch of famous people like uh, Hall of Famer Reggie Jackson. So anyway, comment below. What's your favorite spring training uh, ballpark you have been to my personal favorite is actually in Arizona the Cubs the Cubs facility here in Florida is Clearwater thank you guys for joining us have a great night